please introduce yourself and your involvement in IoT. Hi, my name is Jairaj Nair. I head the IoT practice for Infosys. I'm part of the engineering services team at Infosys, and uh, we have multitudes of focus areas where we are involved in IoT. One of them is clearly around asset efficiency, uh, focused on industrial, manufacturing, energy sector. In terms of quality of life and the impact to consumers, uh, we also have a burgeoning practice in connected cars, connected care, connected homes, and uh, connected insurance. When you look at this broader system of systems world, smart cities, uh, smart energy, smart retail, smart farm, uh, we are involved in that space as well. Now, you personally, when was your aha moment when you realized there's something pretty big here with the industrial internet of things? Yeah, if I were to be honest, every day is an aha moment for us. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, most recently we moved into a new home about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, in terms of the, you know, the water situation in California, we have to be very due diligent in terms of how we use water. So, in terms of monitoring and controlling uh, basic energy consumption, water consumption, I think today at home technologies are available to enable that. So, I think I used to be in the factory uh, automation space earlier and basically getting visibility is the first step to controlling and optimizing something. So the aha moment was to put instrumentation in place so I can manage, uh, first of all, look at, monitor, and then control, and then optimize my consumption levels of water and, and uh, energy at my home. All right. Now, switching over to business, you know, specifically the industrial Internet of Things, where can you share with us some of the best practices that you've seen? Oh, absolutely. I think... Um, uh, one of the basic best practices uh, in uh, the industrial internet is around value. I mean, if the, you have to be heads down focused on outcome and value uh, to the client, to the customer. Uh, IoT is a kind of a buzzword, but at the same time, you know, all these things as they get smart, uh, connected, uh, they can produce a ton of data that can be used uh, to create insights and value in terms of outcomes of new services, new business models, uh, new optimizations can be achieved. So I think the first point is focus on the outcome and the value. Right? The number two is uh, I think IoT is clearly an ecosystem play. It is not about one vertically integrated stack. If you look, as I mentioned earlier, you have smart devices, you have connectivity, you have um, the M2M layer, you have the backend enterprise integration, and then you have the analytics and the insight. So if you take these five elements of the architecture, you will definitely have multitudes of uh, ISVs and IHVs, companies playing in the space. You have to collaborate, interop, uh, work well with multitudes of partners. So clearly IoT is an ecosystem place, so to go in into the space, the first agenda that you have should have in mind is to build new partnerships build partnerships, work, collaborate. I think the one other aspect that is also equally important is that as you do this building block, uh, uh, you should definitely rely on more open source and uh, interoperable set of ingredients. I think if you look at the value chain, if you look at the value chain, at the end of the day, there is a ton of innovation happening in the open source world. Uh, if you can collaborate with the ecosystem and especially the open source community, you can definitely deliver good value to your customers. Now, why did Infosys join the IIC? Infosys has a tradition of working well with the ecosystem and the partner community. So the Industrial Internet Consortium uh, is clearly a, a means uh, to collaborating with multitudes of partners. If you look at the rapid progression that they've made in terms of growing uh, in like a year to like 200 some companies, uh, I think uh, it gives us a very clear opportunity to engage with multiple partners at multiple layers of the stack. Um, collaboration, interop, standards, all those things are top of mind for us. Uh, so definitely it helps us in that journey. If I may give you an example of how we went about that, I think we joined ISC just about a few months ago and uh, we initiated a test bed, uh, which I like about ISC. Uh, called Asset Efficiency Testbed. Uh, now, the concept there is to, again, monitor, control, optimize the value of assets, operational efficiency, energy efficiency, um, 
all kinds of maintenance, predictive maintenance, uh, maintenance efficiency. Implementing that test bed was a fun gig. I mean, we started off um, with PTC, uh, Bosch, and Intel as partners on this test bed. We got approved a month ago, and now we're building a reference solution to validate the reference architecture. The journey has been very, very reinvigorating. I think if you look at how folks from our partner ecosystem came together and collaborated in a very rapid uh, you know, pace of execution, it kind of uh, got us very motivated in terms of working more test beds, uh, proving out uh, new concepts, putting new experimental platforms in. Uh, in fact, following the success of the initial test bed, we actually extended that uh, test bed idea to GE, and now they are also part of this test bed. We are exploring other partners. So again, it's a modular building block concept. You have pieces that come in, come out. Um, again, no other way uh, to work with the ecosystem than uh, being part of a consortium like IIC. Now, the IIC recently celebrated, uh, just a little while ago, their first year anniversary. Right. Where do you see you know, the IIC in, let's say, one year and even five years? Um, <clears throat> if you look at the rapid pace of uh, innovation that is happening at IIC, especially the rapid pace of, uh, it's, it's kind of mirrors the rapid pace of innovation that is happening in the IoT world. Um, if you look at what will happen in the next few years, I think uh, it simply accelerates the process. Uh, it's a catalyst. I think, in fact, I might have used this term with Richard. Um, it accelerates and builds the partner ecosystem for everybody in this, in this uh, consortium. Uh, it definitely works as an accelerator. Uh, you bring in ideas, you get ideas, you get challenged, uh, you work out problems, you kind of uh, solve problems. So fundamentally, ISE will continue to accelerate. But if you look back, uh, you know, it aligns well with some of our concepts too. I think we have a tradition at Infosys of doing new and renew, where uh, we are always trying out new things, but at the same time, renewing some of the ways we used to do. Uh, so in case of IIC, if you would look at in that uh, context, you have um, existing test beds. You will have many of them come about this year. Uh, you will have to renew them next year. Uh, while you get new innovative ideas into the gig and you kind of take them forward. I think this is a continuous journey. Every day will end up becoming an aha moment for everyone. 